This is Reformation and Revival Now. And I'd like to welcome you to the Love for Muslims Prayer Vigil. This is our prayer tool. My name is Kevin Jones. And I'm here to teach you or to walk you through this tool to get involved in one of the greatest harvests of all time. Praying for the Muslim people in that 1040 window by which the prophecy of Isaiah 19 19 to 25 this whole ministry is based on I believe with all my heart that what you're looking at right now is our foundation the Lord God sent his prophet Isaiah to prophesy what would happen in these last days so I want you to get involved read it in your spirit time it will prepare you to pray with us then we will have scriptures that are spiritual warfare based that tells us our rights and privileges to be able to come against the powers of darkness. These dark forces like ISIS and other organizations are backed up by evil spirits. So we will be praying against that. And finally, we'll be taking our spotlight nation, we'll take a Muslim nation, and we will pray for that single nation together. So I believe that this is a powerful opportunity for all of you and I ask you to engage with us as we enter in to prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, as we pray, Lord God, for the Middle East, as we pray, Lord God, for Egypt, according to your word in Isaiah 19, 19 to 25, Father, we now, Lord Jesus, agree with you, Lord. Let the Holy Spirit of power, the Holy Spirit of God's love, begin, Lord God, to fill the hearts of the Egyptian people. Lord, we ask for a mighty awakening to occur according to your word that Egypt will begin to awake unto the gospel. That, Lord God, you would reveal yourselves to them as Savior and Deliverer, that Jesus Christ is Lord and their Lord. Father, across their monuments, all across their borders, pour out your spirit, Lord God, as Lord Jesus, difficult days are ahead for them, but Lord, you will turn it around, Lord, for their healing. And so, Lord, we ask you to bring healing to Egypt after they walk through this trial. And Lord God, let them have the revelation of Jesus Christ that will cause them to be worshipers. Let this move of the Spirit move up to Assyria, Lord Jesus, and hit all the overlay nations, the Assyrian overlay nations of Saudi Arabia, Lebanon, Jordan, Turkey and Iran and Iraq and even Greece pour out your spirit Lord Jesus and cause it to be a bond between the Assyrians and the Egyptians and Lord God let Israel be the third and an ally of the other two Lord forming a bond that is supernatural father we thank you that because your word is already said in advance we are standing on your word bring it to pass Lord according to your word in Jesus mighty name Amen. Now, ISIS, you are pulled down. ISIS, you are destroyed because we overcome you by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. You shall not prosper. In the name of Jesus, we bring, we bring the ancient demon down. In the name of Jesus, Isis, you come down in Jesus' name. You come down in Jesus' name. By the blood of the Lamb, we make you subservient. And by the word of our testimony, Jesus Christ is Lord. Father, by your blood, we bring down every argument. We bring down every stronghold, every mindset that is anti-Christ. In the name of Jesus, we break all of those whom you have bewitched with a doctrine of demons in the name of jesus satan you are now bound in jesus name isis you are bound and all the demons that run you are bound in jesus name and father we claim success that doors are opening up for the gospel of jesus christ amen and lord we lift up the nation of England. Now, before I do pray for England, I want to say that we forget England is not classified as a Muslim nation, but there is a tremendous stronghold 
of Muslim people in England. And I think people forget this. It's the same thing with the United States. We have a strong Islamic community right here in the States. And we've had for some years. So when you're praying for nations, not just countries that are politically Muslim, but countries that have a lot of Islamic influence, please include them in your prayer. But let's pray for England. Father, as we lift up Great Britain and England before you, Lord Jesus, remember that there are many Muslims there. Lord Jesus, who are now poised, Lord God, to receive the word of the Lord. They are poised to receive Jesus Christ. Lord, you said, ask of me, and we're asking right now, Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord of the harvest, give us England. Give us the Muslim people in England. Oh, Lord God, this is our inheritance. All you told us to do was to ask you. We ask you for England in the name of Jesus. Lord, open doors in this ancient nation, Lord God. And Father, begin to touch the hearts of Muslim people, Lord, throughout that land. And Father, I ask, Lord Jesus, where there's been hostility between Christians and hostility between Christians and Muslims, Father, I want to ask for peace, that the Prince of Peace would be there, that the Prince of Peace would rule. Oh, Father, that the Muslims, Lord Jesus, in Great Britain and the Christians, Lord God, in Great Britain, Lord God, would receive a real revelation of Jesus Christ to cause them to rejoice. A revelation of Jesus Christ that will allow you, Lord God, to be their leader. That you would rise and rule over the nations, Lord Jesus, uh, over the nation of England. And Father, be found of them that ask not for you. Reveal yourself to a people not called by your name, Lord. And Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are turning hearts from darkness or from the power of darkness to light. And from the power of Satan to God, we're standing right now on your word. And Lord God, we believe it's coming to pass in Jesus name. Amen.